Hey guys, in this video, I am doing a full review of the Turtle Wax Headlight Restoration Kit. Oh, we're gonna see if it really works. What's going on everybody? Luke here with Wilson Auto Detailing. I'm a pro detailer based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Now, let me jump right into it and let you know what comes in this kit. Number one, obviously the box is gonna have all of the directions, but when you unbox it, you are going to find first the spray lubricant. This is there just in case you need to do kind of a mild form of wet sanding. I'll get to that in just a second. Secondly, you get the lens clarifying compound for all my pro detailers out there. We might just call this a polish or a compound. Compound. Thirdly, you're gonna find two different scouring pads, but all of them are double-sided, so they're labeled one, two, three, four. Of course, in kind of an ascending order in terms of the grit of the sandpaper. And finally, you are going to find a plastic glove that kind of looks like what a lunch lady wears when they're serving you. Now, I wanna give you guys the surface level directions here so you understand how this kit works. Obviously, we want to always be working with a relatively or a totally clean headlight, and they basically tell you to start with the clarifying compound. Essentially, this is Turtle Wax's way of saying, hey, if your headlights are not really that bad, you can start with the lens clarifying compound, rub it in, put a lot of pressure, a lot of elbow grease, and if that fixes your problem, then great. But for most of us, and particularly the headlights I'm working with right now, you're gonna have to dip into the sandpaper pads here. The first one is the lowest grit, and the fourth one, which is the backside of the second pad, is the highest grit, so it's aggressive to non-aggressive, and that, of course, is where you incorporate the spray lubricant, which is where you can literally spray the pad itself as well as the headlight to wet sand the headlight in that ascending order of the grit sandpaper so that you get lesser and lesser noticeable or heavy sanding marks and then you finish with the lens clarifying compound. Now the box also comes with two other things but before we get into that I want to show you guys exactly what using this stuff looks like on these headlights. So first things first I'm using that lens clarifying compound to see if I can actually restore these headlights without having to dip into the sandpaper. Now, full disclosure, I did assume that I would need the sandpaper because I've restored a lot of headlights, and ultimately what we're doing is removing that clouded, yellow, marred, surface level clear coat that is manufactured on all of the surfaces of most headlights, and then of course you're polishing out those sanding marks and protecting it. So the big question is, could I clarify these headlights with just the lens clarifying compound? Well, before I show you guys the results of that, I wanna remind you guys, if you're not yet registered for the live free training event that I'm holding on September 15th to teach you guys how to build your detailing businesses to $5,000 a month in recurring revenue. The link to register is in the YouTube description box below. The spots are filling up and they almost always fill up before we get to the date of the launch. So make sure if you're interested in learning how to build your detailing business for real and you're tired of all the BS strategies that you find online that don't really incorporate the modern day online strategies that you need, the link is in the YouTube description box below. So if you're a part-time detailer, you wanna go full-time, you wanna start detailing finally because you've been waiting or you've been detailing and you just haven't found anything that actually works, I promise you, if you want to create recurring revenue through maintenance clients in your detailing business, making thousands of dollars per month so that you're not wondering about what next month's customers or next month's income is going to look like, this training is absolutely for you. You cannot afford to miss it. Link to register is in the YouTube description box below, and I'll see you guys there. So here's what the headlight looks like after I used just the lens clarifying compound. And as you guys might expect, it actually looks better. I was surprised that it looked as good as it did, but it's obviously not enough to remove that clear coat layer that needs to be removed, right? So now I'm moving on to the sanding pads. And this works just as you would expect it to work, so I don't want to waste a bunch of time, but I start with the first sanding pad. I sand, 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 use that spray lubricant, and to be totally honest with you, I would have rather just picked up my hose and used the tap water from the hose as my lubricant because using this tiny little bottle to spray and spray and spray is super, super annoying. After I finish that first one, I want you guys to see what it looks like. I'm starting to get a more even scratch pattern, and you can see that the headlight, while cloudy and foggy, it does look even in some sense. You don't see a bunch of jagged, clear coat left over. And really, the reason I use my air compressor to dry the headlight is because if I see any clear or shiny surfaces, I need to continue sanding that area with these pads because it's left over clear coat. Now, obviously after that, I'm going to start going through the sandpaper. So I'm going to number two, then I'm going to number three, then I'm going to number four, and I finish with number four. The directions tell you to sand using the first side of the pad horizontally, and when you switch to the second one, go vertically. Same thing for number three, horizontally, number four, vertically. In my experience, it really doesn't matter what way the scratch pattern is going in when you are restoring headlights, particularly if you're going to machine polish afterwards. But here's what the lens looks like after the fourth sanding paper, okay? You can see that relative to the first one, it actually does look a lot more clear, still foggy, right? But because the sanding marks are thinner or less noticeable to the naked eye, the headlight naturally looks a little bit clearer. Now, I could take the rubbing compound and just do it myself with my elbow. And because I have polishers at my disposal, I'm just going to implement this lens clarifying compound with my dual action 
polisher and I'm gonna start polishing the headlight. Now, one of the things I immediately noticed is that yes, once you finish with that fourth piece of sanding paper, it does start to come out pretty easily in terms of those sanding marks with the lens clarifying compound. So I use my DA, I go over the headlight in kind of a boring way, not a lot to say about it, wipe it off at the end, and you guys can see that the headlight looks really as good as new. The only things left in there are damages that are inside of the lens or scratches that were so deep or etchings that were so deep that you would have to sand down basically with a machine sander and a really low grit sandpaper that people do in like headlight restoration only shops and that's just not what we're doing here. Now I want to show you guys what it looks like next to the old headlight, right? Because you can see that the kit itself did a really fantastic job, right? Love it. What's the biggest downfall here? Because it actually did work for headlights that were in pretty deep trouble. The problem was these sanding discs here are not going to work for another headlight after I use them as intensely as I did with this one headlight. So in order for me to address the second headlight, I had to do away with this kit all together and break out my own sanding paper with my own little sanding discs and sanding bars to sand down that entire headlight. And the only thing that I used a second time from the kit itself was the lens clarifying compound to finish it. And I actually finished that second headlight a lot faster than the first headlight. Why? Well, number one, I know what I'm doing because I'm a professional detailer, but number two, I can just cut straight to the chase with the sandpaper that I know is going to work fastest and most effectively, which is what I did here. I took out some 2500 grit sandpaper, a little rid stick, and I started sanding that headlight down, finished it in one pass, then of course dried it, polished it out with the lens clarifying compound, and I was done. Now at this point, the biggest con of this kit is that, like I said, if you've got headlights that are pretty damaged, you're only going to get through one of them with a kit like this. However, the two-stage finishing steps of this kit are something that I really liked. Number one, it comes with a base layer coating, and number two, it comes with a final layer coating or a sealant to touch up those headlights with a long-term protection after you've just sanded all of that long-term protection off. So I simply open that base coat layer. It's got a little moist towelette. I can go back and forth. I don't have to worry about any streaks. It's going to self-level and I want to use that on both of the headlights. It is literally as simple as opening it up, taking that little moist towelette on and rubbing it onto the headlight. After that is dry, and by the way, I did this in the heat, in the direct sun. Those headlights were really hot and they dried probably in five minutes or less. I go ahead and open up that final sealant package and I do the same exact thing. Back and forth, back and forth on headlight one, back and forth, back and forth on headlight two to, not to get it on the paint. Of course, I'm being careful. And now you guys can see the final result of both of these headlights. They look absolutely fantastic. From a distance, they look literally perfect. Of course, if you come up closer, you're going to see a few minor imperfections, like I said, that aren't going to be taken care of with a simple headlight restoration like this. But the headlights both look absolutely fantastic. And more importantly than anything, you get the full use out of your headlights when you're driving at night because the light is not being blocked by all of that fog and nasty yellowness. So I guess the simple answer is, should you buy the headlight lens restore kit for from Turtle Wax, and I think my answer would be no. Huh? It's really not that great, and at most, when you're dealing with headlights like this, you're gonna get through maybe one. When, of course, you can take your own sandpaper, some polish, and even by hand, get through both of these headlights, if not even more than that in the future if you needed to, simply by buying something that isn't based in a kit. The thing that I like most about this product, like I said, is that final stage of protection that comes in the form of the base layer and the final protection. Now, guys, before you bounce off this video, make sure if you're not yet registered, like I said in the beginning, for that live free training before the spots fill up go below click the link put your email in to register and I will see you guys on September 15th cannot wait to talk about detailing business with you not just these product reviews and as always I will be hooking up not only the lens restorer kit below if you guys want to check it out just because I will also hook up the tools and products that I suggest for legitimate headlight restoration that is not necessarily in a kit you could buy all of them individually and pay close to what you would pay for this kit and get through a lot more headlights as always guys if you found value in this make sure to share this on your social network or just send it to a friend who might actually benefit from this information. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you in the next video.